。临近春节，过年的气氛越加浓郁，然而币市却显得十分冷淡。近期以比特币为首的虚拟货币表现低迷，从最高点近两万美元一路下跌，始终在八千至八千八百美元附近徘徊。对此，我们连线芝加哥商品期货交易所的交易员 Bob l a x i n o 来听听他对比特币近期走势的分析。Hi Bob, Bitcoin price has been dropped down dramatically in the past two weeks. How is that going to impact on the Bitcoin futures, and how do you see the Bitcoin futures will go the following week? Well, obviously, the CME Group has、uh, a very responsible and well-designed index that tracks、uh, the price of Bitcoin. So the futures is obviously going to follow Bitcoin. Bitcoin actually rallied the last day and a half or so, and is kind of sitting sideways. I think for the short to medium term, you're looking at pressure on Bitcoin. What happened over the last couple of weeks? Was speculative excess came out of the markets? It ran up with people just chasing it, chasing it up to 19,000, and then we continue to see what is likely the biggest weakness for cryptocurrencies, and that's the potential for governments and regulators to sort of sign with a pen and and make them illegal.、Uh, India was the main one. South Korea started it, but India was the main one where they talked about just eliminating. The legality of Bitcoin transactions, so it is definitely a、uh, Achilles heel in the cryptocurrencies, and I don't see them rallying much until some of those issues get solved in the major economies that would be willing to use it. Thank you, Bob. 也许正如 Bob 所说，政策原因成为近期主导比特币价格的关键因素。我们再来关注近期的价格走势。根据 Bitstamp 的报价。截至发稿时，比特币价格为八千七百二十五美元，上涨百分之二点四五，但是仍未回升至九千美元这一重要点位上方。期货方面，比特币两大期货受到现货价格提升，双双走高。截至发稿时，芝加哥期权交易所 （CBOE） 今年二月交割的近月比特币期货合约 （XBT） 报八千七百二十美元，交易量超过两千手。芝加哥商品期货交易所 （CME） 今年二月交割的近月比特币期货合约 （BTCF） 报八千七百三十美元，交易量约五百手，市场交投情绪稍有提升。好的，以上就是今天的节目。币市信息瞬息万变，更多财经资讯，请您关注华尔街多媒体的微信、微博以及 YouTube 平台。感谢您的收看，我们明天再见。